so this is my demo of the uh, RC circuit like this. I'm applying a somewhat square wave as you see here it's not very square. My little oscilloscope cannot um, let me see if I can oopsie and I can go back and you'll see this is my little oscilloscope making that 50 hertz waveform and it's only two volts but I'm still going through this huge potentiometer this is a one meg potentiometer and you see that I hope you are all convinced this is a somewhat perfect uh, triangular wave and it's going right now through a potentiometer not a resistor so I am really putting pin actually sorry this is wrong. Putting pin 2 of the potentiometer here, hooked up to here, which is this. And I am not sure if you can see, so I'm going to come back there. Um, this green is the power supply, and it's going through the potentiometer, pin 2, there. Pin 1 is shorted through a staple to a 100 nanofarad capacitor. And here's just ground. So it's it's as simple an RC circuit as it gets. And I am measuring exactly here on top of the capacitor. And this is built exactly like that one. And now the only thing I'm going to do is, is change the potentiometer. So sometimes when I press here, this, this thing changes. And what I'm going to do is change the RC and therefore change the amplitude and the the um, format of the wave. So you see that the amplitude is increasing because I'm decreasing the time constant. So there's more time for the exponential to go there, to go um, to these higher voltages. So you're going to see that it's becoming less and less triangular and hopefully more and more Uh, like the exponential. Okay, we're almost there. I hope we are. And now I have to uh, change. Oops. Maybe I went all the way to zero. Uh, I don't want to do that. So, now we got to the point that I wanted to show you. So it's not really a square wave, so unfortunately I can't show you exactly what I mean, but um, hopefully you'll see that this is going the capacitor's charging and then discharging, charging and discharging. And depending on, on the uh, resistance, the R times the C feels more like a triangular or less like a triangular. So hopefully this shows you the two main behaviors of the RC. Actually, it's only one, but depends on, on the RC. And now easily, if I can... Um, increase the capacitance, for example, by putting this 470 nanofarad capacitor, half a microfarad in parallel, you see that immediately go immediately goes sort of to that triangular that we're used to. If I take it out, it goes back to the previous wave that we had. So that's all I had to show.